About the scoop cash, that's my little boo thing. Pretty brown skin, nigga, and she not loopy. She my person, no, that's what is up you guys and welcome back before we get into this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and we are about to get this thing going but wait you see the natural light your girl eyeballs ain't all very looking flexed nails on fleek hair is on fleek but as you guys can see my hair is actually growing i only had this in for about three weeks almost three weeks actually but let's get this thing going. So today I have an update on the Culinary Arts Institution of America, which is the CIA, which is the video I did on the acceptance letter to the CIA. I will post that above for you guys. But yes, so I had a package. I was wondering where the fuck the package came from, but duh, I forgot I ordered my school stuff, which is my uniforms, my knife kit, and it came with some other stuff, which I'm going to show you guys later. But yes, your girl's about to go to school. Hopefully nothing, like, interferes with that, like, to the point where I have to come back home or whatever. But I think everything's going to be great. It's going to be smooth. And it's going to be a great adventure for me because this is a school that I always wanted to go to, like, the dream school, like, the dream culinary school that I always wanted to go to or whatever, right? And I'm super, super fucking happy like super happy about the whole thing right now i'm in my living room um using a natural lighting setting as you guys can see no filter no makeup as you guys can see from the last videos my forehead has been breaking out badly but it's been clearing up too so clearing up you know use some great products i would do reviews on those later but yes super excited so i'm gonna actually get into showing you guys this big old box like look it's a big old box with like all the stuff in it as far as like i said uniforms utensils kitchen equipment and stuff like that which is in there so i ain't gotta go take no personals with me besides like mixing bowls mixing bowls some plates and cups but i think i'm gonna take some plastic plates and cups because i ain't got time to be washing no dishes so yeah, but then again, I might just take, like, a few, like, Tupperware bowls and stuff so I can put food in it and everything. Because I heard, heard that we get to eat real good out there. So, hopefully, the next time y'all see me, I still look the same. I think I am because I do, like, I'm going to be working out. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of a lot of good stuff. So, let me show you guys these, these, this stuff I'm going to take it out the box. I'm going to put the box on the couch because that thing is heavy. Hold on one. So, here is my little knife kit. That junk is extremely heavy, right? I'm going to go more into detail. My little bookie bag. Bookie bag. Bookie bag. Right? That's going to be even extra heavier. Right? And then I have my chef coats. I have about a few chef coats. Chef pants. Checkered ones. Uh, these, this is for the front of the house. So the chef coat and pants are more for the back of the house and like basically like the cooking classes I'm going to be taking. But I'm going to be doing like a course for the front of the house, which is basically how you see like the hose taking um, orders, seating people, make sure everything is good, the ambiance and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think, what the hell? I don't know what this is, but it looks like some. Oh, never mind. I lied. These are the pants for the uh, button up shirt. That obviously came up back. More pants, more uniforms, my little checklist. This has chef hats. Well, not chef hats, but like the beanie hats. Not the beanie hats either. Oh, my goodness. But hats for when I, you know, pull my hair back. Well, I, I, I was telling the truth. Beanies. Little freaking beanies. Beanies, aprons, towels, um, neck cheeks, aprons, I said that. Yeah. 
I will show you guys more of that. But here's the little checklist right here of everything that comes in this box. I'm not going to unravel any chef coats or anything because I need mine to be extra crisp, extra, you know. I need that to be nice, neat, and clean, look fresh, and be fresh. Right, so I showed you guys all that stuff. I did try on the uniform. Hold on. So, like I said, I did try on the uniform. <laughs> I might have to get that tailored or something because it's a little big. Even though I got my size and everything, I should have got a small for everything. So, and I got a medium. I ordered mediums for the uniforms and everything like that. So, yeah. It's time to get more into depth on this knife kit. I don't even know what the back say. Oh, I guess this is where the knife kit came from. Right? So, let's get this thing going. So, yeah. I heard this was real dope. You know, first time experience going here. I did go to a community college. A community college. MCC. So, I do have a associate degree in hospitality 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 and culinary i just want to get like a certificate or a bachelor's degree to further my learnings even though i can learn a lot of this stuff at home some people will say that which is possible so let me give you guys a more let me show you guys what the inside looks like before i start taking things out of here all right so this is the knife set. I love the color. My favorite color is red anyway. Something came out. So yeah, it has a lot of you cooking utensils and supplies in here. I'm gonna go into more more into depth of what each one of these items are. So bear with me. So I'm gonna go with the measuring spoons. You have teaspoon teaspoon tablespoons so you have two teaspoons one is a four a quarter one's a half and then for the tablespoons i believe it's a one oh i lied <laughs> so you have a quarter half and one teaspoon which is these three and then you have the one tablespoon i don't know why i thought these were like measuring cups like the way I was like going in the order of and they're not so we have those we have corkscrew so this is to help with opening bottles like wine bottles you can use this to mainly bottles i'm gonna say that right it's a double lever corkscrew double lever corkscrew i'm trying to so this is what it looks like all right put that down so we have the double lever corkscrew i mean i do have an outline of everything that's in here too so my little outline of everything all right, and then we have our scissors. <laughs> These are our kitchen shears. So you can use this to cut. Basically, you can use this to cut up meat, veggies, a good kitchen you kitchen item you guys should good. For real. You can use, okay, first of all, I didn't know you can use the little teeth right here to open bottles. Like, I must be slow or something because I didn't know you could use stuff like that. Yes, it says that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's a stainless steel. So, all majority of everything in here is stainless steel. Stainless steel. I got a few knives for y'all. Hold on. I got my paring knife. This is what this is. Paring knife comes in handy. I use I usually use my paring knives for like small items. So like to it's more detailing if you think about it. 
I didn't go into detail what I was about to say because I had a brain fart. So this is a paring knife. And then we have my little spatch. So I think this is more for detailing as well. I'm keeping everything in bag. This is for more detailing as well. This is a spatch, right? If it's a spatch. It's an offset spatula. Then we have fish bone tweezer. So when you're boning, deboning fish, this is something you use. So you'll use it for like some salmon. Definitely for some salmon because you know they got them little bones in there. You gotta you can use this for any kind of fish that has bones. Especially if you're one of those kind of people who actually go buy whole fish and you just descale it and behead it and all that stuff. Then we have our peeler, our vegetable fruit peeler right here. And then we have our bowl scraper, you know, to get all that good stuff, extra we don't put we don't let nothing go to waste right now we're about to get more into the bigger stuff on this we have our tongs everybody should know what a pair of tongs is i don't like the way these even look right and you got this to hold it in place so we got our tongs everything in this bag is stainless steel we have our heat resistant spatula they have a lot of these at the grocery store. I do believe they do sell these at the, they have an actual store for a, a lot of bakery and for basically restaurants and stuff. So this is a heat resistant spatula. You see, it says between to 600 degrees Fahrenheit to 316 Celsius degrees. 316 degrees Celsius, right? We have our fish spatula. I believe this is what this is. Yep. But it's not a fit. It's a, it is a high heat fish turner. Okay. So you can use this to, so if you're pan frying fish and instead of using like tongs, you can just use this. It'll be an easy flip or whatever. We have our whisk. A whisk, not a whisk, a whip. Whip it real good. So mainly you're gonna be whipping up some stuff in the kitchen. Right? I'm just not even putting the stuff back to where I found it. I'm just taking it out and just throwing it around. And then we have our oh our straight fork. I don't know what we what we use this for. Like, this is why I need to go to school because I don't even know what to use this for. I would say a grilling item. Like, I don't know. I never used one of these before, so I really don't know what to use it for. But I will say, like, it's like a pitchfork. I would say, well, people use this to be grilling, like, to get the meat stick and blah, blah, whatever. These are some things that I don't know what this is used for. Then we have our wooden spatula, and this is a stirring spatula. So I will say we will use this for like to make sauces and stuff. Please correct me if I'm wrong because I really don't know. I never even used a wooden spatula before. I mainly use like the silicone spatulas for stuff, but not for like mixing or anything like that. And then we have this. Now I'm gonna say this is, <laughs> this is a carving knife. The carving knife, so you can carve things with this. Especially like, carving knife. I never even used a carving knife before. I probably have. 
at MCC, but I don't remember using a carving knife. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then we have my favorite, the chef knife. I'm gonna tell you just gonna keep that in the bag because our chef knife. Show you guys this. Make sure that's the chef knife. It is a little chefy chef knife. I know what this was, though. I have one of these already. Our next item is our bread knife. So you would use this to cut bread and stuff like that. It will be easier to cut bread with this. Next we have, I'm just trying to make sure everything is put back in its place. Right? Next is our deboning knife. As you guys see how thin this is. Really good. And the handle is kind of different on this knife versus the other ones. Let's look at it. The boning knife. Got to be careful. These things are sharp. And I do not want to enter in the hospital. Ever. Alright. That's why it's so hard. What the fuck? I ain't had no damn clocks when I'm more full. All right, so I think I gave you guys the wrong knife. Because these two, I already showed you guys this. Why am I showing you guys this again? I don't know. Nobody knows. Let me put this back in. The next thing we have our German steel. Oh, that's heavy. You can smack somebody with this. It's our little German steel, right? You use this to basically sharpen your knives. I mean, they have a lot of different tools to help you sharpen your knife, whatever. But this is the one you want to use. A lot of chefs, a lot of restaurants have this item. I have another like sharpening tool in my uh drawer with all my other culinary stuff and it's it has like a two side i'm going to show you guys that actually let me show you guys what that looked like hold on one second so this is the one i have the little sharpening tool so it has fine right here and then coarse on this side you guys it's kind of dirty i really don't use it that much so that's probably why my knife's are so dull this shit has matte oil on it though i'm trying to figure out why it doesn't have oil on it i wish they would gave us some um, a rolling pin in this bitch because they didn't give us that not in this what the f something is missing so that is all for the showing you guys my culinary items kitchen equipment, uniforms. Right now, I feel like I'm boring as hell. Like, but yes, here your hair is growing. Literally, it's growing. Only had the same for like two or three weeks and it's already growing like crazy. It looked like I have it done for about three months and I have not. So, I'm gonna just end this video. I feel like I gave you guys a lot. But yeah, so be on a lookout because I'm gonna be at school in a couple of weeks. I set up my moving date. That shit. They didn't even give me no later time to even try to move in. Like it's either between so it's earlier time, so so I picked 245 for the move in um time, so I have to check in at 2 45 so no later not before no after like right on time or i'm gonna miss the appointment to move in um i have to do a whole checklist 
so I have to get stuff for my dorm like um <laughs> I have to get a freaking I'm not taking on covers like first it's about to be hot as fuck out there um I'm just gonna take my blanket and just take like a sheet and a pillow with a case that's it like I'm gonna be real basic out there because I like I said I don't really like to be hot and I'm not about to be sleeping in no cover at all I'm gonna take like a few blankets so I already have a few blankets here too so I'm gonna just take two of my blankets with me I'm gonna take I'm gonna buy a pillow buy a sheet set I got already got like skincare feminine products and stuff that I need body wash I'm gonna buy more of that stuff too um yeah but it's a whole checklist I have to check off of stuff that I can bring and it's a checklist that of stuff that I cannot bring actually I'm gonna show you guys the checklist of everything that I can't bring because I can't bring no heater no extension cords I can't bring no other furniture it says um a whole bunch of stuff that's basically that's easy to set on fire or something like that I believe or like it's a, like a hazard a safety hazard or something like that is set on a thing so yeah I'm gonna show you guys that um I'm kind of I don't know oh I already registered my car I gotta send them a picture of me for a send them a, a picture with my face so that I can upload it for my school ID school ID yeah so good thing about the school it's expensive but you don't gotta pay for parking uh you get a meal plan you get to eat so whatever you cook in class you get to eat and try other people's foods which i'm down for the ride down for the ride, ride, ride. right and then after that yeah so i'm definitely gonna do like a whole update video for like the move-in and things i'm gonna have to buy and all that stuff so hopefully you guys stay tuned right and put my crown on because i am so happy and then that is it and that's all for this video i'm getting i have to be somewhere in this matter early so early bird gets the worm right right so I will catch you guys in the next video, but the next video I am, and I will be doing a product review for you guys, just to, just for a heads up, product review on a fancy and amazing product. Okay, now I'm out. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.